What's going on, people? My name's Chopper. So this right here is the brand new Zombies Map Descent. On it's on Xbox right now. So you, if you're on Xbox, you can go on, hop on, and get this map. If you're a season pass holder, you can just download it for free. If you don't, then you're gonna have to purchase it. But this is the final Zombies Map in Exo Zombies, and I gotta tell you, this one is crazy. Uh, what you're seeing right now is actually I, it's sort of like a boss fight thing, and I want to talk about a couple things. The gameplay is just crazy, and I, I think I found a few Easter egg like things so we're gonna definitely get into that first I just want to talk about the basic of this basically descent is a map that is is an atlas corporation essentially underwater it's like a base that uh, travels between underwater you know what I mean like there are spots above the water and you can travel basically through tubes underwater that's what this map is but the room I'm in right here this is actually like a boss fight type of thing like um, Oz will be up in these uh, glass doors that you see above me and you will actually have to fight him when he opens the doors. But like this, I don't know if you are really getting the full effect of this, but this uh, is only around 13, and this gets intense. See, I'm just loading him right here. You got you to gotta take him down to each window or else he'll close it up, and you can't hit him through the window. So don't try to spam your bullets and even try because you won't be able to hit him. But like you don't understand how, for round 13, how absolutely intense this is. Like see these laser beams go up at the top right here? Once those turn red, if you XO into those, then you are going to die. That is not good for you. And you know you're getting exo like this. You can't you can't boost or anything. It starts to get really intense, and I actually do end up dying near the very end. There's sentry guns on the ceiling. Like I was really confused. I didn't see that at first. You got to take that out. There's so much you got to take into account when you're doing this. Like it's very very difficult. And as soon as that window opens up, then you have just like a few seconds to get up there and start loading him with bullets. Now the wonder weapon, the trident, is not really the best for taking down Oz. I've noticed. I don't have any gameplay of that, unfortunately, but it's just not very good on him. It's base, It's better probably have an LMG. See, here's where the ground starts getting shocked, and I've never, this is where I go down once, but I've actually never played this before, so I didn't know what was going on. I was, like, taking everything on the fly, but, I, yeah, the ground will start shocking, and you have to get up on these things. There's so much you got to pay attention to, and this is only round 13, and this happens again, I believe. I think it's every five rounds. It'll start you at round five. It'll take you to it once, but nothing really happens. Or you just kind of wait, and he'll teleport you back. When round thirteen, when round thirteen comes around again, that's when you will be teleported back. Now, I want to talk a little about about the Easter egg because, as you can see, if that gets infected right there. You can't be on top of those things now. So you really, really got to watch yourself. You have to be aware at all times of what you're doing and what's going on. You got to kind of predict what move he's going to make next, and you have just a split second to like get up there and start shooting at him. Now, there's got to be something to do with the Easter egg, because after you kill him, then you'll be teleported back, and nothing really happens after that. Uh, nothing too significant from what I saw anyway happens after you kill Oz, like for the fourth time. There's four uh, rooms you got to rotate all the way around without and without dying, of course. So you got to kill him in all four rooms. So I feel like during the Easter egg, we'll have to do something uh, that'll change up this pattern a little bit. Here, I got to throw down my sentry guns, because it's getting a little bit too intense. I need something to distract them. I hear the gate say that that, that the gate is open, so I got to go and attack Oz. But I feel like you have to do something to disrupt the pattern of this for the Easter egg. Uh, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. I haven't found too many Easter egg things yet. Let me know if you guys have. If you have found something for the Easter egg, please let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I really want to know what you guys have found. Uh, this map is just like I said. Don't underestimate this. I came in the first time thinking like you know I got this. See even our sentry guns like we're not used to taking damage long range and zombies. We've never really been um, used to that. Like in Treyarch Zombies, it's always been damage from the zombies and maybe like the ground or whatever. Here's where the ground, I think, starts shocking again. Oh, no, it doesn't. But like I said, guys, this is not an easy fight at all. I, I thought since round 13 is going to be kind of simple, this is where I kind of botched that. Wasted a few seconds trying to kill Oz. Getting the hit markers on him, I can't take him down. Do a little double jump and I get exoed. And see, I get stopped right here and he starts shocking the ground and I have to get up. So you have to do everything like on the fly. It is so, so hard to do. But if you guys do find any Easter egg stuff, please let me know. I, I really need to find this stuff out. Now, I'm about to go down right here, unfortunately. I didn't, I wasn't able in this gameplay to take him all the way down. But there's sentry guns on the wall. This is where I get exoed and then shocked, and then it's basically over. So if you guys did enjoy this, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys.